Your money or your life? That's the question facing voters heading into the midterms as Republicans are pushing the surging economy in their political ads, while Democrats are betting big on health care. The GOP hope to make tax cuts the centerpiece of their midterm message. But that issue failed to connect with voters in Pennsylvania's special election. So they called notable both parties have also increased their focus on immigration and opioids. I think they're handing them out. But in the end, it's health care versus the healthy economy. It's impossible to predict the future. But if anybody has a crystal ball, it's the man who loves the economy and also helped President Obama sell Obamacare. Mm. Former economic advisor to President Obama, founder and CEO of 32 Advisors, and Fox News contributor Robert Wolf is back. Uh, Great so, to be here. Nice to see you. You too. So is health care a winning message? Yes. And here's what Democrats have to do, it seems. They have to repackage health care in a way that's not necessarily Obamacare, because that can still be considered an albatross, but it's also not Medicare for all, because... As you know, uh, that's too expensive. They have to have a positive, forward-looking message. What is it on health care? Health care is a right. No, it's not. That's what it is. It's not. Okay. Well, we disagree. And, yeah. and that's why people will be able to vote on that. I think that that is the simple message. Yeah, sure. People may think theoretically that health care is a right. They don't want to pay for everyone else's health care. Yeah, I would agree with that, too. I yeah. think there's a way to reduce costs. There's yes, it's a called the free market. Not, not necessarily. Absolutely necessary. Listen, I'm a capitalist, but you yes. can't just have it a free market. Yes, you can. Okay, well, then you're going to have a lot of people that just won't be able to afford it. Then what are you going to do? You also have, well, that's no, no, what, what, you that's what do? a safety net is for. Okay, a safety so, net is not this vast thing that no, encompasses 300 million people. I, I, that's I, not what a safety net is. But it's not, that's what Medicare for All is. But it's not encompassing 300 million today. Most there things, okay, there most things are not a right. people on public health care. Yes, right? Most is on the private sector. Yes, which is great and which is you you should expand. I would agree and with that. And there should be a proliferation of choices. I would and agree with that. And you should be able to buy any kind of health insurance you want at any time of the year that will fit your needs. So I, there's there's no reason I agree that, with that every single well. person should be forced to buy a plan that has mental health coverage and maternity coverage and coverage for inpatient rehab. We're in agreeing on that. On that. Great. We're, 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 and I also am not obligated to pay for your stuff, no matter I don't want how benevolent it stuff. is. Therefore, health care is not a right. Okay. Well, I, we could, I would respectfully disagree. Okay. One, it is a right. No. Okay. Well, we keep going back and forth. Is okay. education a right or that's not a right either? It depends. Okay. Well, I think education is right. In our country, the wealthiest country in the world, mm -hmm. we should be able to make sure everyone has health care. 